Hi everybody, Tammy here. Um, I got a great big box in the mail today and it's a haul from the Scrapbooking with Me Boutique on Facebook. I'll put the link down below. Wow, it is a 12 by 12 box that's about 10 inches tall and it is stuffed to the max. It weighed 12 pounds. I, yeah, I could not believe it. Well, um, I wanted to say that um, Edith and Alina are actually um, selling the 31 products as well now. And I got the Picnic Thermal Tote. And I'm going to open this up. I want to take a look at this. 31, if you don't know them, makes beautiful totes. Um, and they have some actually really nice ones that will fit, especially like for your crops. It'll fit your Cricut machine. Um, there's ones that fit all your papers, like really awesome. And they do have a Facebook group for it. And I will put the link down below, okay? As well as the Scrapping With Me Boutique's uh, link. But this is the Thermal Tote. And this is for picking. I'm... It's, I'm using this for picnics. This thing is gorgeous. Oh, I love the color. And look at the size. It's huge. Wow. When they say it'll hold a 12-pack of pop, they really mean it. Water-resistant thermal lining. Um, oh, I just love that. It's huge. That is really nice. And there's a big pocket down the front. Plus, it's got the removable handle. Oh, I like that a lot. That is going to come in very handy this summer. We live only 10 miles from a, a government park and a provincial park here in Alberta. Yes, I live in central Alberta, so everybody knows yes. And no, we don't have snow up there right now. There is actually green grass and flowers starting to come up. <laughs> Just so you know. So, but we live 10 miles away and we go to the park all the time. So this is really going to come in a little, very handy this year. I know I should be using it for my crops, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use this for my picnics with my grandkids. That is gorgeous. Okay, on to the box here now. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's start with this. Ooh, I've been waiting for this. This is from Art Bin. And it's the bottle storage tray for stickles and, uh, yeah, stickles. <laughs> um, I don't know what else you can put in there. Anything. Perfect pearls, you name it. And a little bottle. And it goes. And this one is supposed to hold 32. So that's great. And she has these in the boutique. And there even has a little foot on it so that you can actually incline it upwards so you can see what you're doing. The kickstand feature is what they call it. Okay, so I got that. And I picked up two of the vellums. Oh, these are gorgeous. They've got the clouds on them. I got two sheets here. Uh, let's see, do I have a white? I don't even have a white piece of paper to stick behind there to show you. Oh, those are stunning. So, ah, you can see it right on there. Oh, yes. I want to try a technique where you use this and your um, embossing, um, you know, embossing paste and the modeling paste and attach it. And then you do your embossing and your stenciling, etc., right over top. And I saw it on YouTube somewhere, and I, I really want to give that a try. But these are really pretty. I like these a lot. And I got the new Prina stencil. Yes! Look how big that is. Isn't that gorgeous? And all the new Prima stencils are in the boutique right now. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. Because you can pick and choose words. You can do this. Parts of it. That's gorgeous. I'm really glad I got that one. Oh, yes. So, the Dynamics. Um... Tiny doilies, I believe. This, this is the mini, mini delicate doily die. And these are in the boutique as well. I really like these. They're the, the two inch 
I believe they're two inch. It could be even two and a half. Let's measure them. Let's see. Um, oh, almost two inch. That one's almost two inches. One and three quarter. One and three quarter. So they're all one and three quarter inches. Yeah, I really like those. And I got the Marion Smith clear stamps. We had a March Madness sale, and I really wanted that the prices were like, oh my gosh. Oh, they were just unbelievable. She was literally giving this stuff away. Like, wow. But I really wanted the alphabet on this one. But it came as a dual pack. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This is actually the first time I've seen this set. And this is, which set is this? I don't even know. This is the Flying High stamp set. They were $8 each, and I believe I got both of them. I can't remember. It was like so unbelievably cheap, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so I got those. Oh, yes. I forgot about these. We all, um, she's carrying these color dusters now. Um, Lindsay over on Frugal Crafter uses these. These dusters with her inks when she's like she was showing how to make your own washi tape and she was using dusters and I was really really happy to see that um, Edith had gotten these in, in the boutique um, I do use these larger dusters um, all the time these ones I don't know if you've seen them before but um, sometimes the large just is too large so this is gonna be kind of nice to have these smaller ones to use. And I got some rub and buff. I do not have these colors. This is the pewter and the autumn gold. Can't wait to use those ones. I do love the rub and buff for my metals. Um, I know that she's also carrying the Aztec gold and the Maya gold now as well. So That'll be my next step. I really would like to get a hold of both of those, especially that Maya Gold, the new paint. Um, that's new from the makers of Aztec Gold. And let's see what else did I get in here. Ooh, yes. I got the Mr. Hueys. Um, you know, eyedroppers. <laughs> the reason being is because. Okay, I don't use these for spray bottles at all. Okay, I use these for like water and stuff for when I'm doing um, water splotches on a page. It, you know, they're just much easier to control and I like them because of the size. Um, I have arthritis in my hands and I like having something that's a little bit bigger to hold on to. Okay, so I did get two of those. And I got the new Timmy's blending tools. The round ones. Yes, yes, yes. I am so, so happy. I can't wait to try. Oh, I, I'm playing with these today. That's for sure. Okay, and let's see what else did I get in here. Wow, there is a ton of stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Mod Podge. Yes. Now, when she had that sale, she also had, um, these Mod Pods melts. And these ones are. I'm not sure. Gla melt glass? Is that what they're called? Mm, the name's not on these ones. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what these ones are called. I think they're called melt glass. So I got those and I also got the little um, mold flower mold and the border mold and I really want to try these out today. I actually have got an old hot glue gun I'm going to use for these and I really want to give them a try. I've seen them done by others and I'm, I'm excited to try them. Why not, right? Okay, and what else here? And score tape, of course. Score tape, score tape. And the quarter inch score tape, my half inch score tape. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. I can't live without my score tape. <laughs> but, you know, I can't find it at a better price than what Edith offers it. And that's why I use so much of it. 
um, it's actually very cost efficient for me. Um, and actually for anybody ordering through the boutique, it's, she makes it affordable to actually use it. And that's wonderful. Now I also got diamond stickles, yes, because I want to start putting those on my flowers. I saw someone do this on their flowers and, you know, I just kind of fell in love with them. And I've tried the crystal stickles. They look really good, yes. I've tried the lace, frosted lace. Yes, very, very nice. This, a little bit different. Let's give it a try and see what happens. And yes, she does carry the whole line of stickles. Now, I also special ordered these Zutter um, coveralls. Um, because I, I need to do some books. And I just love having these because... Well, I, when you're doing coil bindings, you know, with your binder all and stuff, it is nice to have the binders that have the actual curved spine, you know, to help cover that, that ring. You don't always want to have those uh, coils showing, right? So I special ordered those. And I also got this in the sale. And I am super excited. It has... Compartments on compartments on compartments. It's supposed to have like a million compartments going in it. Look at this. It's got that in there. It's got room in there. Room there. Oh yeah, and these little guys are supposed to clip out. I'm not sure how I should read the instructions, shouldn't I? It actually tells me how. <laughs> oh, you press firmly on the bottom and pull away from the center. Okay. That would do it, wouldn't it? Maybe. We'll see. Oh, I see. It hooks in there. Okay, that's why. Okay. Well, I'll get it later. But look at this. Every, every one of these has locks on them. Fill it right full. I can have it sitting on my desk. Oh, yeah. I like that. For all those little things. And plus, you know, when you go to a crop, there are so many little things to pack with you, right? So this is going to be great with the handle. I'm set to go. And I also picked up the American Crafts cardstock in the craft. Ran out of this, so I needed this. I use I use the craft color cardstock to do my um you know my paper tape hinges when I'm doing corners on uh, chipboard. Um. I really like it because, it, you know, it just blends in with the chipboard. It's really nice to have. So, but I also use it for everything else, too. But anyways, so that's my haul. I'm going to put the link down below. Come on over to the boutique. Request uh, to join, and someone will be there to invite to um, admit you right away. So, have a great day, and happy crafting. Bye.